Miss Netta goes into detail about why she is changing her ways. She says she's being worked on and she's sincere about what she says she's not going to do. And she explains why. And I agree with her 100%. If you are trying to go places and tr you're trying to do things, your behavior on this here internet, regardless if you are right or wrong, matters. She also reveals that she plans on doing a really, really major thing for her nephew. And she explains why, which I thought was beautiful. Check out this highlight. And she drops some gems for us bill payers, too. Tap in and let me know your thoughts. Oh, Lord, y'all. I'm so tired. I had to pay all the bills today for next month. I pay all my bills a month early. So when the month come in, I'm good. I ain't paying no bills. Bills already paid. But that's the good thing about having a little money. You can pay your bills when you want to. Pay them early. Don't got to worry about them. But I did miss a bill last month. That's why I was telling somebody I ain't trying to be funny, put nobody in my business. I got about 20 bills. I know that some, some people might got more than that. I got about 20 bills I got to pay. And trying to juggle 20 bills every month, try to make sure every bill get paid, you got to write a list on a piece of paper. What happened to me last month, I was starting paying my bills, and I got distracted with a telephone call. So when I got distracted with that telephone call, it made me lose train of thought. So, I missed out a bill. So, I got a telephone call from my niece uh, this month. Uh, she was like, hey, she's like, people contacting you. Uh, you didn't pay your bill this month. I was like, uh, I pay all my bills. She's like, I don't know. You got to call them. So, I called them. They was like, uh, hey, they was like, uh, we don't have your telephone number. We've been trying to contact you. And the number we have for you is, uh, is not a good number. I said, oh, yeah, I have to change my telephone number due to social media. And they was like, this ain't like you. She was like, and we kind of figured that you kind of forgot to pay your bill. I was like, I, I didn't forget. I just thought I did. So I paid it double. I said, okay, well, I'm going to pay it double. So next month it ain't going to be on my list. But what I did was, anyway, I still put it on my list. So I paid another one. So I'm up current. I'm a month ahead of that. So I don't got to worry about that But if I do forget it again. But this month I was getting telephone calls. And I was studying, swiping them away. I said, I got to pay my bills first before I get on any telephone call. Because if I don't, I'm going to get distracted. But I didn't get distracted. I completed all bills. So every bill is paid for next month. So whatever money we got to pay, we can play all month if we want to. But we never do that. We usually save and add on to it for the next month. That's how you do it. You know, just because you got a little money, that don't mean you just go... Way, I mean, go haywall and just spin it. Spin all of it. You don't spin all of it. You save it. Maybe spin it next month. <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. So what y'all want me to get on here? Do y'all want me to get on here and act a fool or something? That was y'all way now. I keep telling y'all, God working on me. Y'all have been seeing the improvement. God has been working on me. I ain't fussing with nobody. I ain't arguing. I ain't reading no... Message is going back and forth with nobody. I don't got time for that, honey. Like I told you, I want I want TV land. TV land ain't going to get me nowhere. I mean, drama and all this stuff ain't going to get me no, on no TV land. You know, unless I'm going to have a drama show. But that ain't what I'm going for. I'm going for a wholesome, regular show. And I think that we going to succeed. I don't know what y'all think. I really don't care because you're going to watch anyway. But I think we're going to succeed. So, I'm just going to uh, speak in existence. And I'm just going to say, we're going to be on somebody's network next year. By January or February, we're going to be on somebody's network. Still got things coming up. I told you I got a talent show. I got to contact the lady about the talent show today. I, I haven't talked to her. I got to contact her about the um, talent show that we're going to have it held up in Atlanta. And it's going to start in November. So, I'm going to host that. And get sassy and real pretty and all that other stuff, you know, because I ain't been beautified in a minute, you know. I got to get pretty and sexy and stuff for my videos and stuff, but that's just not me. That beautify and all that other stuff, that just, that's not me. I don't, I don't do that a lot, so I just be regular old me, you know. Ain't no other way but the regular you. That's the best you. Okay, so I have no broccoli done. I'm going to let the potatoes boil at least about 10 or 15 more minutes so they can get nice and so I don't have to put no muscle in it because I told y'all my back hurt. My back hurt and I ain't got that much muscle to be whipping up no taters. So 
I need my potato sauce. But yeah. But yes, people. Yes, yes, yes. We got a lot of things that we got going on. Brand deals that people don't know. Uh, we doing. We we're gonna get, do some brand deals and all this incredible, amazing stuff. You know that we should have been already doing. But you know, hey, it is what it is. But um, it's mess, y'all. My face is almost done peeling. So once it get through peeling, I can take off this face mask and I can breathe. But I can breathe anyway, cause once I get off this live, I remove it anyway, baby, and um, do what I gotta do. But yeah, but yeah. Hopefully, I drink all this water when I'm coming on here tomorrow cooking. I'll be like, hey y'all, you know. But goddamn, goddamn, I'm like, all right, right now I'm like, oh my god, like we are gonna cook dinner tonight for Charles, and it's gonna be baked chicken and some steamed broccoli and some mashed mashed taters. Um, but you know, hey, it is what it is. Got a kind of, I got a posture. But yeah, this water pretty good. I'm telling you, when it's real cold. Red Kool Aid. Woo, it's so sweet. You gotta think like that. You gotta fool the brain. You gotta fool the brain. Make the brain think it is drinking some Kool Aid, and you good. So that brain said that Kool Aid was sweet. Okay, tell me y'all. Y'all gotta get with it. But yeah, I really don't want no rolls. I don't be wanting nothing. Me as food wise. I just don't be wanting nothing. You know, ever since I had my surgery a couple of years ago, my appetite is just like this. Y'all be like, Miss Netta, we see you cook all that food. We see Charles eat. We don't see you eat. I really don't be feel liking it. You know, but I will go get me a little bit and I sit down with him and I eat some just a little bit or whatever. I have We have had several videos like that, but I just don't be having no appetite. You know, even though it's been two years since I had the surgery, I just don't have an appetite, you know, because I still can't hold a lot of food. Because I still, if I overeat it, I'm going to get sick. And overeating to me is a whole sandwich. I can't even eat a whole sandwich. So what I do, I slice my sandwich in half. I eat half of it. I either put the rest of it in the microwave or whatever, or it goes in the trash. My biggest thing is to just put it in the trash. Because if you don't put it in the trash... You're going to keep walking back and forth, biting off of it, biting off of it. Then you're going to get sick. So I just, most of the time, I just dispose it. If Charles ain't there right there, I'll say, hey, give me that rest of that sandwich. i put it in the trash can. I can't believe that. But I was, I was like 400 pounds. 400 pounds, y'all. So I'm half of 400 now. So just imagine how two more hundred pounds would look. I mean, I was, oh my God. It was, oh, it was like. That part. But yeah. Okay. Damn, I done took about two things of milk. Cause my nephew was over here last week and I had to make sure he had some milk for his cereal. And I'm thinking, and this ain't even been open. And I done brought a whole nother one and we don't do milk like that. But I, uh, I don't know. I'll probably get him this weekend. Maybe, maybe. I'll probably let him come spend like this weekend. He don't get on my nerve this week cause he played me keeping Lily. This week and tomorrow he wants some money. I told him, listen, it ain't about money all the time. I don't got to pay you every time you keep my, no lily. Because when you come over here, when we eat out, nine out of ten because it'll be the weekend. You eat out too. Weekdays, if you're here at my house on the weekdays, I got to drive 20 minutes to take you to school, 20 minutes back home. And I got to do this in the morning at 6 o'clock. So, boy, I'm not going to tell him, boy. And then his birthday coming up in November. They watches me, so I can't say what I'm going to get him in, in, for his birthday. But I'm telling you, baby, it's going to be... He's going to be 16 years old. That's the only thing I can say. He'll be 16 years old on his birthday. And uh, what I got in store for him for his birthday... Because, first of all, this is the great-nephew. This great-nephew, like, his mom worked at the Honda plant here in uh, Alabama. And I don't know about you guys know about how the Honda plant operates, but the Honda plant operates is that... You work two weeks, days, and you work two weeks, nights. Okay. She was having a problem because, for one, getting him out of go to school. When she on day shift, she had to leave, go to work at 4 o'clock in the morning. Ain't no school open for no 4 o'clock in the morning. So, night shift, he couldn't be at home by himself. So, he had to, so she had to find a babysitter. So, what she did with me is that she used me as the babysitter for my great-nephew. That's my niece. And... What she would do is she would bring him to my house Monday. She would drop him off Monday, and she won't 
come and get him when she on night shift. She won't film him again until Friday. Now when she on day shift, she will drop him off on Monday, but what she would do is she would, when she get off from work in the daytime, she will come and she'll pick him up, take him to her house, She'll help him do all his homework and stuff, give me a break and stuff, bathe him and stuff like that and feed him. And then she'll bring him back to my house at nighttime to go to sleep. So we did that for years. So he was at least about 14 years old. I started when he was about eight. And I'm telling you, I had had some issues that was going on that I had some health issues that were going on that I needed somebody there with me. Because at that point in time when he came in the picture, me and Charles went together. Me and Charles didn't get together to 2000. And, um, 18 but my nephew started staying with me in 2016 and honey i had some issues going on and my nephew was there i promise with my dog my nephew i, I had this chronic back thing where i was real big i had a i got a, a swelling swollen disc in my back that would swell up it would swell up onto my spine on my right side and when it swelled up on my spine it would like stay swole for like a month and it'll have my whole right side where I'm just like almost paralyzed, like numb. But I'll be able to get up and I'll be able to walk and do stuff. But I'll be in so much pain. My great nephew, baby, he had me together. I mean, he did everything for me. In the morning time before he went to school, he would go clean up my, um, my dog feces and stuff and mop my floor. Where my dog done peed or whatever on the floor and didn't pee on the pad. He would go and he'll clean all of that up. He would feed my dog in the morning, then he would leave and he would go to sleep, go to school. He would get out of school. He would come back home from out of school, check and see what Lily done did. He'll put her pad. I mean, he was just there for me. I mean, he was absolutely wonderful. He was an absolutely amazing great nephew to me. I mean, oh my God. I don't know what I would have did without him. I promise. Charles came in the picture. You know, Charles started helping him. I was good then by the time Charles came in the picture, but... Anyway, his birthday is November the 6th, and yes, buddy, this one is going to be filmed, because I, I, I'm, this is going to be a surprise out the world for him. I got something very incredible that I am got for him for his birthday, and he ain't going to do nothing. He ain't going to have no other chance, he ain't going to have no other chance but to love it. When I say love it, love it. So, I'm going to film it, so everybody going to see what it's going to be. And I'm going to see Miss Nutter don't play about her people, her nephews and nieces and stuff like that. I ain't going to play. So, I got some stuff planned on for that, that, that young man. He's playing football and sports and stuff in school. So, he's, I just told his mama, he need a job. So, he needs a job. So, you know, by him being that young, you know, he can work three or four hours a night or whatever. But, yeah, it's time to whip up this, uh, mess, these potatoes. Oh, they are. I'm about to see through them taters. Okay, I have my masher. 